In Gears Pop, you can spend money to get ahead, but should you? In this video, we're going to discuss should you spend money and what, what exactly it would do for you. So stay tuned. It's showtime. It's your time. It's my time. It's our time. It's showtime. It's your time. It's my time. It's our time. It's showtime. It's your time. It's my time. It's our time. It's showtime. What's up trainers? It's your host Professor Showtime here with another exciting, with another entertaining, with another great, great, great episode of Gears Pop, Pop, Pop. My gosh, we have an amazing show tonight. Trainers, look down below. Do you see all that gold? My gosh, we're going to open up five gold crates this episode and we're going to see what we're going to get. We got some hype gameplay to get to, but first, what we want to discuss today is should you purchase things in this game? Should you spend money in this game? Sure, it sounds nice, but should you do it? Now, I have a lot of experience in gacha games. I got a lot of experience in games that are designed just like Gears Pop. I, I played a lot of Clash Royale and I spent a lot of money in Clash Royale. But trainers, I'm here to tell you this. You can spend money in this game, but when you do, just know that it's a never ending cycle. You're always gonna have to spend in order to get to the next level. Here's my case in point. Check this out. Look at this welcome bundle to Arena 4. We just previously got to Arena 4. And look at the welcome bundle. We have this figure right here, right? This figure's in Arena 4. You spend six dollars, you get them. It's it's a great, great, great figure. If you look, if you want to look at the figure, hold on. Let me show you guys the figure really, really quickly. Let's hit the arena. Look, look how exciting this figure is. It's a let me get right to the stats. 204 damage per second bonkers right this this number right here is bonkers that's that's really 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 insane but that's the welcome bundle right and that you're gonna spend six dollars and with six dollars you're gonna get 825 gold along with a a gold chest but an epic chest i should say but also you can spend 500 of the gold to, to purchase this pin now it sounds nice but let's scroll down a little bit Look at this. Do you see that that Dom, that Dominic Santiago in the previous arena, the game was selling him and I could have bought him for, for, uh, for a welcome bundle to welcome to arena three. But now I have the opportunity to purchase him with just my in game currency. So that's what we're going to do, because this figure right here, Dominic, is amazing. He has a global heal. We're not going to waste any more time. I only have 16 minutes and 16 seconds to get him. And yeah, guys, I take my time with this, right? I'm really, really pushing it close. I'm going to get him. We're going to spend the 4,000. Do, do you want to get Dom? Do you want to get Dominic Santiago? Absolutely. We're going to spend the 4,000. Look at that. Look at that figure. Look at that figure. Guys, if you don't know, Dominic Santiago has a huge heal. His heal is sort of like the radius of like the ink grenade. Yeah, it's amazing. And while we're at it, we're gonna get some more long long shots because we love long shots. For 200 currents, 200 of our currency, we're gonna get 50 of the long shots, so we're gonna get that as well. Yep, yep. So cool, so cool. Acknowledged. So we got the long shot. I love the long shot. We will be able to upgrade them. So I'm gonna hold off on the boomer. I'm not a huge boomer fan at the moment. Um, I like them, but I'm not a huge boomer fan not enough not enough to spend the 800 currency that i have the trainers so check it out if you spend money in this game it's only going to help you like instantly it's going to help you it's going to be like instant gratification sure you're going to be able to like storm your, way, storm your way through to the next arena but then you're going to face players that have the same amount of cards than you or that have that spent money in the game as well so you're going to have to spend some more so only spend in this game if you plan on continuing to spend you know i don't know if that makes sense it's a never-ending cycle you're going to keep spending and keep spending and keep spending and that's what the game is designed to do i'm not telling you not to spend but don't think you're going to make a one-time purchase and you'll be fine because no better figures are going to come out and more figures are more figures are going to be thrown at you all these welcome bundles 
and you're gonna have to spend more money in the game. So only spend if you plan on keep spending or if you just want to enjoy the moment. Like you just want to spend and it's gonna help you for the moment because it's not going to help you long term. All right, so let's get to the hype part of the video. My gosh, we got some gameplay to show you guys. But first, let's look at this. Look at all this gold. Look at all this gold. We have five, five crates. Let me go to, oh, where's my, where's my versus screen? We have five crates we're going to open. Now trainers, do not do this at home. We are going to open that last gold on the bottom that says open now for 16. Um, gold, we're gonna use gold to open that. But at home, do not do that. O always wait, always wait. The only reason I'm doing it is for the YouTube video. I can't wait anymore. I've got five gold chests. The RNG has blessed me with five gold chests. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get hype, let's get hype, let's get hype. First, we're gonna open up the win streak. Let's go above. Let's get something good. Let's get something good. Let's get something good. And we got. So we got 28 currency. Ah, eh, not much. We got two ink grenades. We got a stun grenade. We got a locust grown drone. Actually, two of them. Alright, so that was the lackluster chest. We thought it would be lackluster. But let's continue on. Let's continue on. Alright, we're gonna go left to right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. We have five gold five gold crates to open up. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Let's go, left to right. Here we go. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Let's get hype. Let's get hype. Let's get hype. A whopping 748 coins. 15 ink grenades gets me closer to leveling up the ink grenade. Ink grenade S tier unit should be in almost every deck, probably every deck. You know, you guys would keep asking me, hey, Showtime, make a tier list video, or Showtime, make a video that you talk about the best cards in the game. This, once that video comes out, this card will be in that, in that video. A decoy, this is such a fun card. Such a fun card. It literally does nothing. Your opponents focus it down so you can focus it down so you can focus them down. I want to make some fun decks with the decoy. It, it's it's an amazing it's an amazing idea, the decoy. Alright, 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 Augustus Cole. Two Augustus Cole, okay. We got some wretches. Eight wretches. Eight wretches. I haven't made a swarm deck yet, but that's coming soon. Stay tuned for that. And we got one Marcus Phoenix. We got one epic Marcus Phoenix. That's the first Marcus Phoenix I think we got, right? That's the first one? Yeah, baby! Yeah, we'll take it. We will take it. An epic. We'll take it. Sounds good. Sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, man. Oh. Alright, so let's get back into it. Oh my gosh. We're gonna got, we have three more gold chests to open up. Again, train us. At home, do not do this. Do not use your actual goal to open up the one all the way at the end. Let's do this. Let's get hype. 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 What do we got? What do we got? A whopping 734 currency. We got 13 shepherds. We'll take that. We will take that. We get to upgrade our shepherds. You know we love the shepherds. We get we get some Lancer gears. I don't use the Lancer gear. I don't use it. It's it's nice, but I don't use it. And uh, if you check out the snub video, the the, the snub show, snub soldier video, and I and I explain exactly why I don't use the Lancer gear. But it is a great troop. We got Savage Grenadier. I'm thinking like very hard to use a Savage Grenadier in my deck instead of the Ink Grenade. That's but you got to be like a highly skilled player. But the Ink Grenade. Offers so much versatility, and the Savage gr gr Grenadier doesn't. But if you're a really skilled player, you probably can pull it off. We got some more wretches. We got three more wretches. Oh man, I, I think this card is, is really, really nice the way they designed it. Look how they move. They're like circling their head like this. I love that. And we got some more Augustus Cole. We got some, look at Augustus Cole. Like bring it on. Like bring it on. Bring it on. And we got a butcher. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Whenever we make our really, really heavy deck, we can play the butcher. I think the butcher costs six, right? So whenever we play our heavy, heavy deck, we can play the butcher. 
but I don't think we're ready yet. I don't think we're ready for the heavy, heavy, heavy deck. All right, so there's two down. We got two more to go. So let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. And we got, let's get hype, let's get hype, let's get hype, let's get hype, let's get hype. We got 690 currency. Great, we get to upgrade our ink grenade now. Awesome, fantastic. We get to upgrade the ink grenade and that is music to my ears. You know I love the ink grenade. We're gonna do that ASAP. Okay, we got our emergence hole. One more step towards leveling up. I mean, that that ultimate is really, really great. I didn't even imagine getting it past level one. If I got it at level two, that means the um, troops would be a lot stronger. All right, emergence hole, okay, I'll take that. I will take it. Long shot. Oh, we have we have to upgrade our long shot. We really have to long grade, upgrade our long shot. Remember, we spent some currency in the beginning of the video from the shop for the long shot. So yeah, we really gotta up upgrade the long shot. If you guys don't know, long shot is an awesome figure. Check out the long shot video we have. It's the best sniper in the game currently. And we got some more savage grenade. Here. They're telling me something. The RNG. People are telling me to use Savage Grenade Grenadier and, and some more Augustus Cole. All right, all right. He's like, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Let's get him. <sighs> Five more Clayton Carmine. You know, you guys know I love Clayton Carmine. The last video we did a spotlight on Clay Clayton Carmine, and that figure is amazing. He is simply amazing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a random unleashed. Ooh. Ooh, nice, 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 terrific, perfect. All right, so we got one more. Let me look at the pins really quickly. Let's do the, so we do upgrade or should we wait? I think we're gonna wait. I think we're gonna wait until we, until we finish. Let's do the last upgrade and then we, and let's do the last chest that I'm telling you guys don't do this at home and then we can uh do the uh, upgrades let's get into it so all right it's telling me you want to use the crystals to speed it up and usually 99.9% .9 of the time guys do not do this at home the only reason i'm doing this is for this video that's it that's it here we go here we go what did they bless me with 16 gold what does 16 gold get me boom 844 currency we got some more decoys. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, we got a sentry. I'm not huge on the on the building unless I can make my entire deck like a building. I know Clash Royale. We had some some great 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 decks that used only buildings. Yeah, yeah. We got more Lancer gears. Oh my gosh, they're telling me to use the Lancer gear. 158. My goodness. Snub soldiers. You guys know I love my snub, snub soldiers. They capture things so, so, so efficiently. They capture the covers so efficiently. Oh, Boomer. 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 Man, I, I like Boomer. I like him, but I don't like him. I don't have enough currency to go get go get him in the shop. Maybe I do. Maybe I should get him from the shop. Maybe I should. Oh, JD Phoenix. That's a brand new card for me. It's new, it's an epic. That's a brand new card. I know I don't have JD Phoenix yet. So we're gonna go ahead and check out JD Phoenix really, really quickly. I'm excited. And we got a butcher. We got a butcher and the upgrade is available for the butcher as well. That was great. I think it was worth, I think it was worth 16 crystals. What do you guys think in the comments down below? I think it was. All right, so let's go look at the pins. First, I wanna take a look at the new epic card that I just got. Yep, brand new. Brand new JD Phoenix summary. It takes JD fatal damage down but not out. Gives him a chance to get back up and keep fighting. His dad will be so proud. Really? I get to go down and not, and not out? Skill down but not out. Once JD is down, he gains a skill. Once charged, activate to get JD back up in action. Whoa! I wonder how long he can stay down. Man. Wow. 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 Bringing some skill into the game. Bringing some skill into the game. Let me look to see exactly how much damage JD, JD does. 31 damage per second. All right, not all that. The range is nice, 24 range, not all that. Average capture speed, 
we're gonna figure it out this is my knee-jerk reaction we're gonna figure it out all right so let's do some upgrades we're gonna upgrade of course we gotta upgrade my long shot of course we're gonna do that of course we're gonna do that upgrade the long shot level four here we go here we go now we're ready for some action now we're ready for some action with long shot all right also we're gonna upgrade the ink grenade very very easy decision for me we're gonna up upgrade the ink grenade easy decision i use the ink grenade in every deck that i've used so far up to level seven now amazing so lucky so lucky i'm so lucky with that ink grenade boom wow you guys see level five live level five level five yikes yikes love it the outposts get a hit get about 54 the leader gets 59 hit points all right this works this works i guess we upgrade the shepherds as well but i'm thinking i might take the shepherds out for dom i'm not sure but we're gonna leave everything as is because i'm thinking i'm gonna put dominic in the deck and take the shepherds out i may i may i'm thinking that's what it looks like yep all right so let's get into some quick gameplay i know that was that was long but just to sum it up only spend money in this game if you plan on keep on spending money because it's not just it's not going to give you a, a bump up to keep you up there once you get the bump up from the money that you spent you're going to have to continuously pay to keep up with everyone else but with that being said, if you enjoy the game and you want to support the developers, of course you can spend cash in the game. Me, I'm going to hold off on spending cash for right now. Alright, so let's get into some hype, hype, hype gameplay. I got a clip I want to show you guys. The clip is going to spotlight the Diaz sisters really, really quickly. That's going to be a combination of Kate Diaz and... Uh, Reina Diaz these two sis these two sisters the Diaz sisters. They're an amazing combination basically you want to send out uh, Renea Diaz first and then right behind Renea Diaz you want to send out Kate Renea Diaz is gonna tank and take some hits, but also display um, dish out some hits to um, Take down the opponents and Kate Diaz is gonna rush straight from the, from the tower So even if but you usually want to drop these troops once you're deep in your opponent's territory so we got some gameplay to show you guys this and with that being said you don't have to play a really really awesome game for these two to work you just have to keep it even until like it's down to like a uh, set of death or it's the last minute of the match then you drop these two and you're able to take towers down easily all right trainers thanks for the support if you guys like the content go ahead and smash the like button if you're new subscribe to the channel we're pumping out uh, an amazing amount of ge gears pop 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 content and I'm loving this game. I'm loving the series. Let me know if you're enjoying it too by commenting down below. All right, so let's get into some hype, hype, hype gameplay. We're going against Mark, Mark I Pan or Market Pan. Go, shout out to you, Market Pan. Shout out to you. All right, so our starting hand is a little bit lackluster. We don't have any troops that we really like. So we're going to start with Clayton Carmine all the way in the back. Hopefully, we can use Clayton Carmine to take out two of his cards simultaneously. That's the plan. And are we going to put Marcus Phoenix in the back of the Clayton? Nope, nope, nope. Changed my mind. Let's see if I can get a, a ultimate off. So we got the skill off. We got two cards off. We killed two cards with one of, one of, one of my cards. So we're looking pretty good. The Rene Diaz is going to be able to go right past these. And she should be able to take out his figure right there. And, and she does. And we should have... Oh, no, not yet. I was more of a match than I thought. It was more of a match than I thought. The boomer is going to take out Kate, so we don't get on the right side. We we used our ink grenade on the right side. We got our sniper set up now. We took out our snub soldiers just so we can attack the emergence hole that came out on the bottom. And it looks like the emergence hole is not going to do too much work. We got our emergence hole as well. We're going to put our shepherds out on the right side. He doesn't have any splash damage, so we're fine. The sniper is going to be busy with all my emergence hole troops coming out. Sniper should be busy. Startled a little bit. He had to drop an ink grenade, so that was a lot of mana he um, expended. And we're able to really, really, really attack attack that right outpost. And we're going to put a ink, ink grenade out. So, all right, so we're at a standstill. His tower is taking massive amount of hit, a massive amount. We're just melting that tower down. We got Renee Diaz out to do 
That Renee Diaz was supposed to go against her, his Renee Diaz. I don't know why she went that way, but she's going to go after the, the bomber and she's going to take it out with one hit. And she should get a hit on the tower on the outpost. No, it doesn't. So our, both of our, our ultimates match up, but we also have our sniper. We're going to put out our shepherds to protect the sniper on the left side. So we want our sniper to live a little bit. We're up to double power phase now. He's going to drop the ink bomb, but that was a poor play. That was a poor play. He's just using it to take tower damage. We're going to use our snub soldiers to split. And now, we'll just, we'll just play the Clayton Carmine up high a little bit. We're getting a little aggressive. A little more aggressive than normally. Do I get both? Do I get to my ultimate off? And I... I'm trying to get the ultimate off. The ultimate is not clicking. Oh no! The ultimate did not click. I did. I was not able to get the ultimate off. But on the right side, we're able to place the place the DS sisters. Let me rewind that for a second. Let me rewind that. Let me rewind that. Look at the right. Look at what we do on the right side. The setup on the right side is we we play Renee Diaz right there because we want to time it so we can get Kate Diaz out uh, at the same time. So we got Kate Diaz out. And we're going to melt that tower down on the right side. Look at the, the top. There's nothing my opponent can do. He drops the ink grenade. Poor decision. There's not the, much the opponent can do. His troop was occupied with Rene Diaz while Kate Diaz um, put in some work. And we got the right tower. But now, guys, all we have to do is defend that right tower. We're going to use Clayton Carmine. And we're going to drop our emergence hole just to defend the right side. We just want to drop our snub soldiers. We just want to drop everything on the right side just so we can defend and hold hold the tower off. We drop the Renee Diaz and we have plenty of power. We're going to drop the Shepherds. We have plenty of power. The trainers. I just wanted to show the, the Diaz sisters a really, really sneak peek on how, how devastating they are. I'm going to make a new video to show you guys that explicitly. But the main purpose of this video is should you spend money in this game? It's your money. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the crew. The crew's up. The crew is ready. You know, it's Showtime YT. I'll put it across the screen so you guys can see. And uh, we're having so much fun. If you guys are on the fence of subscribing or on the fence of if you guys like the content, go ahead, subscribe, and let me know that you're enjoying the content. It helps me to produce more content. Put a like on the video. All right, let's cut it there. This is Showtime. Signing off. Peace, trainers. That was a blast. That was a blast.